Good morning, good morning, guys. It is 7.26 in the morning and Daryl is going to work. He's just preparing for coffee, our coffee. And, and me, I'm going to make a juice. And oatmeal? Yes, and oatmeal for breakfast. This is what we harvested yesterday, guys. So that's the whole lunch there, the carrots. And I will gonna peel this beets for juicing. And my beautiful wife making her breakfast, <laughs> oatmeal. So I we usually use guys this quick cooking cooking one organic and it is a still cut oats still cut oats guys so it's not like other oatmeal it's different because it is a still cut oats and i always use one cup only and just put water on it and that's it and we're gonna cook it in the in the stove after You want some strawberry for your oatmeal, babe? Strawberry for my oatmeal. This is our strawberry last yesterday that we picked out. We picked from the garden. Let's okay. Pretty quick. Lord, thank you for all the blessings we received. Thank you for this day. Thank you that it's sunny today, and thank you that we're still alive. Thank you for giving us a gift of life and bless our food our body and our soul in jesus name we pray amen amen <laughs> let's eat guys oatmeal and strawberries it's not focusing there we're really close to it that's our simple meal in the morning guys mm. Homegrown strawberries, even. Mm. Next time we're gonna grow oatmeal. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not a farmer. Daryl is hurrying, eating his food because there's a guy coming. What that guy gonna do anyway? Work. Oh. Oh, your employee? <laughs> yeah. Oh, his employee. I thought somebody else. Yeah. You're trying to be a good model, mm. hey? Role model. We are going outside, guys, to get um, fresh lettuce for Daryl's lunch and for his uh, poutine. Para sa kanyang meat, yes, I'm cooking the tapa that is left over from from weekend camping. Si Daryl nasa shop na siya, guys. Andiyan na siya sa loob ng shop. He's starting to work already. Ayan yung aming may hamog-hamog pang aming mga carrot ay mga haleros. Ayan, magpipik lang tayo guys ng this one maybe. Or this fresh one. I guess that's enough for him. Oh guys, ang sarap ng gising ko. Day off kasi. Basta day off ko, I tried to to do Darl's lunches, ganyan. At I'm doing like breakfast. Pero kung work ko guys, we're trying to hurry just breakfast and And guys, the pepper for raw salad. You want one to your compare? I got carrots. Hmm? I got carrots. My lunch ready? Yeah, but I'm just uh, trying to slice it. Do you want some... Uh... You know what you did last night? What? <laughs> you locked stinker in the greenhouse. Oh! And 
<laughs> Why is she still anyway? Maybe she locked in the greenhouse. <laughs> what is she doing? She's doing She's whining. <laughs> <laughs> And you didn't close the little flap or do that on the other side of the greenhouse. Oh. <laughs> Sesame seeds. Salad de dragon and what is still in your lunch you bag? Apples? Yeah, you I put apples? one apple in here. There's so here. and he has also carrots and two of this fruit source super so fruits and bananas. How about your water? You good luck? I love you. Bye, love. See you later, my beautiful. <laughs> oh. A man that gets a kiss before he goes to work is a happier, healthier man. Coffee muna tayo guys. Magre-rest muna ako dito kasi day off ko naman. Magre-rest, rest muna ako dito sa upuan na to. And mag-scroll ng Facebook or or Messenger from my family. We're gonna check uh, kung ano, kung okay lang ba sila sa Pilipinas. Yeah, siguro mag, uh, ngayong hapon maglilinis ako ng trailer. Hindi ko pa natapos yung mga hugasan ko guys kasi nga rest rest muna ako dito kasi kasi day off ko di ba gusto ko yung upo upo kapi kapi yun lang muna basa day off ko din tapos mag ano ako mag um, to check uh, maglilinis ako ng trailer namin guys kasi nga dahil nag camping kami di ba at guys sa umaga pala yung setup namin ni Daryl pag day off ko kahit day off ko hindi ako nagtatry ako na hindi mag stay sa bed ng ano ng late na kasi gusto ko siyang ano pagsilbihan yung parang I feel good pag may baon siya sa lunch time niya tapos may ano siya na ako gumawa ng breakfast niya yun talaga yung parang pride ko yun yung I love doing that thing kahit hindi ako early morning person nagtatry ako basta off ko lang guys tapos kung work ko naman guys coffee tapos breakfast lang tapos ahead of time uh, ni prepare ko siya sa evening yung lunch lunches ni Darren at ni make sure ko na healthy yung lunches niya so busy busy dito guys sa Canada pero i still try naman na may baon talaga yung asawa ko sa lunch tapos maraming nagtatanong guys kung dito sa ano sa sa amin dito sa Canada ano ba yung Uh, sa mga comment section kasi sa probinsya kami sa Canada marami nagtatangon nung kung uh, ano ba dyan yung ano nga tawag yan uh, ay sabi pala sa comment guys sabi niya sa comment malungkot ba dyan sa inyo dyan sa Canada kasi nasa probinsya nga kami ng Canada hindi naman probinsya na probinsya kasi lahat naman ng Canada guys may countryside talaga <laughs> lahat dito sa Canada may countryside kahit sa city ka may ano talaga outskirt na countryside So, parang nasa outskirt din kami ng town, ng Rocky Mountain House, na 10 minutes ganun from town. So, pero tinatawag ko itong probinsya guys, kasi nga malaki yung equation namin, tapos ang daming kahoy, yun ganun. Parang feeling ko probinsya ang probinsya talaga dito sa amin. Tapos, less traffic din. Uh, sa mga nagtatanong kung, kung ano, kung di, uh, na, malungkot ba ako dito, hindi po ako malungkot kasi magkitenyos na po ako sa Canada. Tapos, nasanay na din. Tapos, mas 
ano yung tinatawag na privacy? Excuse me. Ay, yung, pra, gra, yung privacy is na, na ano, na, na adapt ko na rin yung culture na 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 yung parang yung gusto ko yung kung di of ko yung para ako lang yung tao yung ganun na magmi-me time so dito sa country nakaka-restore talaga yung utak ko dito parang na-charge ba na full charge ng bat- battery ko dito kasi nga matahimik dito tapos masariwa yung hangin tapos Ah, wala ako masyadong kapitbahay na nasa town din kami dati nakatira. Ang dami kong iniintindi na kapitbahay na magmumo lang ako tapos yung kapitbahay namin sisigawan ka bigla na na ano na Hi Lizzy! Mabibigla na lang ako. Ayoko yung hindi naman sa ayaw ko pero what are you doing there? Yung ganun, puti-puti siya pero ano lang siya, uh, very friendly pero every time na nalabas ako ng bahay guys, may magsasabi sa akin na na Lizzy! Parang Nasanay ako sa privacy guys, world ng privacy na dito sa Canada na walang nagaganyan, pero doon sa town guys. Kasi may bahay kami sa town dati, eh, eh one year ago. Ayun, yung after namin kasal ni Daryl, always niya ako talagang, bida, parang feeling ko, bi, ini-stock niya ako, ayoko yung ganun. Parang everyday, na every time gag- lalabas na ako mag-grocery or mag-shopping, basta lalabas ako ng bahay, and doon siya sa labas din, ayoko nang ganun. Kaya, Masaya ako dito guys. Ang saya. Masaya ako dito. Tapos isa pa nga. Nilagay talaga ako ni- ng Diyos dito. Kasi alam niya talaga yung... Yun nga. Uh, kung ano ang nasa heart ko na this is what I want. Kaya ni- kung saan ka nilagay ng Lord. Kasi al- mas alam niya kasi yung... Ano yung nasa heart natin, di ba? Yung heart natin na... Na... Mas alam niya tayo kaysa sa, sa sarili natin. So alam niya talaga na I love, uh, I love country life. Kaya siguro nilagay rin ako ni Lord dito at hindi sa city. Kasi ayoko ng traffic talaga. Maganda sa labas ngayon guys, maaraw. Ayan. Ayan, maaraw siya sa labas ngayon. Sa mga nagtatanong kung malungkot ako dito, hindi. Ang saya-saya ko talaga. Yun lang ang ano, yung pamilya. Yun, dahil malayo ka sa pamilya mo, yun lang ang mahirap. Pero nasanay naman ako guys. Tapos all, call kami ng call sa messenger all the time para ano keep in touch kami kung ano nangyari ganun tapos may sister din ako sa state na tinatawagan ko rin always para maki-update <laughs> yung ganun magandang araw sa inyong lahat and please subscribe subscribe to our channel click the bell button to get you notified para sa aming next videos and mabuhay kayong lahat guys